We're here in a forestry plantation just near Richards Bay in South Africa. Today's exercise is to introduce the local contracting company to claycrete stabilisation, which is a liquid stabiliser applied during road construction. This treatment actually reacts with clay to stabilise the clay alone so that the clay becomes a void filler and binder and the stabilisation is not product dependent. The product is exhausted in the reaction with clay and clay becomes the binder and void filler which creates a very dense, very strong and relatively flexible pavement. The first stage of the process is to rip the existing pavement if the material is suitable for stabilisation or to import material and resheet the pavement with suitable material so that we can create a strong base course. Stage two is the application of the claycrete in the water. So the water tanker is a 10,000 litre water tanker. That means that we'll be delivering 40 mils of claycrete to each square metre of the pavement with the thickness of 200 millimetres. Once the road has been brought to optimum moisture content, we'll shape it and blade mix it using the grader and lay the material out ready for compaction. Once we've achieved full density of the road, we've reduced the void. And reducing the void means reducing the opportunity for moisture to get in the pavement. It reduces the opportunity for potholing. It makes the ride smoother and it makes the pavement last much longer. At this point, we're going to check the moisture content of the road to make sure that we are close to optimum moisture before compaction. So we would take a sample of the, the material from the road and compress it in our hand. Now, the material is staying together, so it indicates that compaction will be good. We are not looking at loose, friable material, and there's not excessive moisture on my hand. This means that the material will compact very well, and a good indication of that are the tyre patterns that are on the road from the grader, where the spaces between the lugs have formed nice, clear patterns, which means when we compress the road and we compact it, it will be very well able to support traffic. Once the pavement is completed and the surface is smooth and it's been rolled to the best of our ability, it will continue to strengthen as it dries back over three to four weeks. The strengthening is a result of the clay shrinking inside the pavement and trying to pull the pavement together, which is a sort of post-construction tension. The CBR of the pavement, which is a measurement of standard, uh, normally would achieve 30 to 40% in rural roads in Africa. What we are looking for is a CBR of over 100, and in most cases we'll achieve a CBR of 200 plus, which gives us a very durable pavement that should last five times as long as a standard water-bound pavement. The benefit of claycrete is that where we've normally stabilised with cement, we may use 100 or 150 tonnes of cement to a kilometre. Claycrete is targeted only at the clay, so it uses a very small amount of chemistry to deal with the effects of clay, and for that reason, one barrel of claycrete will replace 150 tonnes of cement. Claycrete is an efficient way to stabilise roads, even if you have to introduce clay material to use it. Clay is a very, very environmentally sensitive pavement binder, which was previously only rejected because of its expansion, which was uncontrollable. Now we can control that. We can use clay to bind pavements instead of using manufactured products. Pavement construction is pretty much complete here now. The compaction will continue until the top is smooth and durable. This pavement will last three to five years. This treatment is suitable to be used on runways, helipads, railways, hard stands and haul roads in mines. And pavement innovation is what Clay Creek Global is all about.